Today we're diving into one of Nitric's coolest features, architecture visualization. So why is this so cool? Let me show you with a demo how the real-time visualization helps you quickly understand and communicate what you're building. Here we have a Nitric project I created. It is an uptime monitoring system to monitor my favorite websites and receive notifications on my Discord channel if they go down or if they go back up. This project at the moment contains an API called public and a key value store for our sites. But let's finish this one off together with the help of the architecture visualization feature. Oh, and by the way, we do have a finished example link in the description below. All right, let's do it. So this project has three services, check, notify, and site. With site, I've already done the API for you for creating, deleting, and getting all the sites. So since you're a new team member, let's use the architecture diagram to learn about this project. So we have a public API that routes to our site service, and you can see we have a sites KV store that has the correct permissions there for reading, writing, and deleting. So how do we check our sites? With just a few lines of code, let's hook up our schedule to the check service. Okay, so firstly, we need somewhere to publish our site updates. So let's go ahead and create a topic in our resources. Let's call it site update. And in our check service, let's uncomment this schedule code, which loops through all our sites from the KV store and publishes updates to the site update topic. And I've set the schedule to run every minute. If we go back and view our architecture, now our site check service triggers our check service every minute, which then publishes notifications to the site update topic. You can also clearly see that the check service has write, read, and delete permissions to the site's KV store. So now you can easily show the rest of the team the approach you've taken. But we're not done yet. Let's take it a few steps further. I want to know when a site is added or removed. So let's create a couple of topics for that and publish to them in our API post and delete endpoints within our site service. So this new visual makes it easy to ask others for opinions on architecture optimizations. So now we can see the site service is now publishing to the new site added and site removed topics. Okay, let's wrap it up by subscribing to the topics and initiating the notification publishing. For this video, I'll only subscribe to the site update topic, but the process remains the same for the others. This code sends a post request to the Discord webhook URL containing the text content based on the site status update. Now we can visualize how the check service flows to the publish update updates to the site update topic, subsequently triggering the notify service. Nitrix architecture visualization here makes it easy for leadership to understand the application right away. There you have it, Nitrix mates visualizing your architecture a breeze. To begin, explore our uptime monitoring guide in our documentation. Find the link in the description. Share your experiences integrating Nitrix into your projects in the comments below, or join us for a chat on Discord.